Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, hello March. It's getting closer and closer. I feel the keys of my house in my hands like they're almost physically there. We're six weeks away from when we get our keys and I'm extremely excited. We bought a floor. We went to see paint for the walls today. We picked up our colors. Ah, oh, I am so, so excited. Anyways. <laughs> Getting into the beauty side, I decided this month not to do a favorites video and an empties video and an update on a project pan. I wanted to do a February roundup in which I give you all of these things. And the reason for it is, yeah, I am still commuting an hour each way every morning and I don't really have uh, a lot of new things to try. I'm trying to keep my low buy to a low buy um, and uh, I have tried a few new things that have become some favorites and uh, some old things that have become favorites and I finished a few things and I um, want to update you on one or two pieces of my project pan. Let's do it all together in one video. Let's see how fast I can be. Let's get into it. So let's start with favorites, shall we? Um, first things first, newness in the family. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful neutral palette, which you might think is boring, but uh, for someone who just needs makeup to be presentable at the office and look good at meetings, and uh, I am a deep autumn, so I wear these type of shades all the time, love the ABH Soft Glam Palette. I just recorded this eye look and my review for the palette because I've used it two weeks straight since it, it since its launch. So that will come up soon as well. Um, but yeah, just so you know, it's in the favorites. Then uh, for makeup also, I have been loving and this is almost embarrassing to show, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It comes in little tubs, but I got uh, from some Sephora order last year a bunch of these uh, little sample sizes. And actually, um, they last forever. I, am, um, not, I haven't even hit pan on this one, which is funny. But I use it on blemishes and uh, um, discolorations and uh, to correct and conceal spots on my face. And oh my God, how good this is. It is very dense and sticky. It will absolutely stay in place. I have used it under my eyes as well um, at the beginning when I first opened it and it was still nice and um, moist and uh, a bit more creamy. Uh, now I, I do think it's drying out a little and uh, that's fine to use on pimples because then it just stays put more. But uh, I love this and I think that once I'm through all my samples, which might mean next year, I will definitely pick up uh, a full size. Be love, love, loving this one. Then uh, a few skincare bits. Uh, one is the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. This is 10% niacinamide with the Zinc 1%. And uh, this has been really good for balancing my skin. It, it does a really, really great job and I use it every morning. It's finished now. But uh, yeah, really, really good serum. I also just recorded a full uh, routine with the ordinary that I've followed. Now all of my serums are finishing because I've had this routine now since, I don't know, I wanna say last year, beginning of fall. Um, but uh, yeah, I've uh, used up almost everything that I bought because it's just so, so good. Used it so long, had great, great results. Then something I don't have with me because I forgot it in the house and I'm in the barn. I mentioned this before already, but uh, I have been using castor oil every night to put on my eyebrows and my lashes. And uh, this came from an idea of uh, my good friend Stefania from Nude Powder. And uh, she showed how she applies castor oil by putting them in an old mascara tube. She bought it off of eBay, I did as well. You just buy two tubes, they're a few pounds, um, they're empty, you can add the oil in and then put the stopper and then put the, the brush, the spoolie brush in. And then it's really, really, really easy to apply the right amount to your brows. I still have a little bit of trouble putting it on my lashes because I feel like castor oil should be on the skin and not on the lashes itself. 
And I haven't seen results on my lashes yet, but my brows have been crazy growing, which I'm really happy about because I need to get rid of these holes. I, it's been so many years now, it just need to be gone. But I've been really enjoying putting it on every evening. It, um, I think I really see results in my brows. They look bushier to me. <laughs> and those were my favorites. Uh, as I said, I've been using always the same stuff. I'm trying to finish things. Uh, and uh, these are a few things that stood out in my daily routine. Now for some empties. I already mentioned the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. Finished, dusted, bye. I loved it. I have now started using my Hyalamide Pore Control Serum that I bought with Black Friday. It contains niacinamide, so I hope that will do the same thing. I literally started two days ago, so I can't really tell the difference yet. Also from The Ordinary, I finished my Ascorbyl Glucoside Solution 12%. This is the vitamin C derivative that I was using. I finished it, I moved on to an antioxidant that didn't work out for me, so I'm now without any brightening um, uh, vitamin C serum in my routine. I'll probably repurchase this one because it has been working very well, the texture works very well for my skin, and uh, I feel like it did good things to brighten and uh, keep the bad radicals away. Then uh, one more skincare and these will come more and more, you'll see them. This is my Garnier Express 2-in-1 waterproof eye makeup remover. I cannot live without this because my mascara doesn't come off, if not with this. And uh, I normally cleanse with oil, but I have to first remove my mascara with this. Um, I'm through one another one I'm already halfway through. Um, these are wonderful. They're four or five euros uh, here in Europe. They do not import this in the US, which drives me absolutely insane. So uh, when I was living there, I would have people or myself bring it to the US um, because I cannot live without it. So I already have another one in. Then I have uh, two brow pencils that are finished. One is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Pencil. Um, I really liked this pencil. It has a spoolie on one side and a little retractable point, which I cannot twist because it's empty, on the other side. It reminds me a lot also the packaging to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I, I like the formula. However, the color of this one was too dark for me. I think this is dark brunette. So I, it was a bit of a fail. It was very difficult for me to use it be, and I could, would use it only on the tail of my brows and use another brow pencil in the front because it was just too dark. Um, I'm happy I finished it and I did not uh, throw it out before. I'm proud of myself for that. And uh, that was kind of the idea of this project. Use it up, use up a thousand euros before the end of the year, reverse rouge, however you want to call it, just to push me to use up things instead of leaving them there. And the other eyebrow pencil that I finished is the MAC Eyebrows Crayon Pour Les Sourcils. I don't speak French. This is in the shade Spiked. I got it in a BoxyCharm, I think, last year. And um, this is a little bit of a thicker point and uh, uh, it's not retractable, I discovered. Someone, Letizia, thank you for the comment on the other video. I finished it surprised that it was finished, but it's finished. The color was really nice because it has a slight red undertone and my hair is red. So I was very happy to use it. It's finished. Will I repurchase? No. 20 bucks? No. Doesn't, it's not going to happen. Um, because if I would, I would buy the Anastasia Brow Wiz. But I won't. And those were the empties of this month. Um, that brings my total for January and February to 95 euros. And uh, this is not a good news because I'm never going to get to a thousand if we're already two months in and it's only 95. Dang it. But uh, um, I actually realized that it's uh, as simple as the fact that I just don't use very expensive products. I don't buy very expensive products. My skincare is um, affordable, my, no my makeup is drugstore and affordable brands. So we will see how far I get. I think I am going in the right direction because I want to show you um, the progress on my ColourPop no filter concealer. Now this has been going down very well. I use it now every single day. I have I think eight or nine concealers to go through, but I am um, 
focusing on one at a time, finishing this one first. Once this is done, move on to the next. And um, yeah, it works great. It's a high coverage, so when I want to wear um, very little coverage, I find this is too much. Also, the rest of my mel makeup melts away and this is still there, <laughs> which is surprising, but it, it's just a testimony of how good it is. Um, yeah. I, uh, I'm happy that I'm going to finish it before uh, summer comes along so I can use something a little bit less uh, coverage for that. But um, yeah, I am uh, maybe one third left, a um, couple of months more, maybe, hopefully less. But uh, yeah, I've been using it every day. Very happy about that. And the last one of my eyebrows pencils in my collection is actually this um, Kiko Precision eyebrow pencil and you can see how little is left here um, so I am expecting to finish this soon also this is a, um, a sharpening pencil it sharpens with to a very fine tip actually mm, you can't see it now because I used it today but um, I really like this I think it's the third one I repurchased in a long time before I tried my favorite NYX ones um, so I am going to finish this one and then I'm out of eyebrow pencils that have been opened and I can go through my backstash which is my three NYX micro brow that um, I bought I brought over from America since they're, they're cheaper um, but yeah very happy I had so many brow pencils open now I have one left very very happy about that other things uh, I can't really show you progress progress uh, this is for example my primer how can you tell? You can't, but uh, I've been using it every single day. I have nothing else open, so very uh, dedicated to that one. I am dedicated to finishing this Essence Make Me Brow. I have many other brow gels open, but I want to finish this one first and then move on. I think the next one is the Colourpop one that I have open. And uh, when it comes to the base, I'm still using my um, CoverGirl BB Cream, matte BB Cream. I'm having a bit of trouble with it now. My skin is maybe changing and it's just not looking good. But um, yeah, I have two of them. I need to go through them. And uh, on an everyday basis, it starts to look bad only after like six, seven hours. So it's okay. <laughs> it's definitely okay. At the end of the day, I think it's just done. So uh, guys, that was it for my February roundup. March it's snowing. It was minus seven this week. It's not normal. I was hoping to get a little bit more into spring. Uh-uh. So um, color-wise, we'll stay in the same family. Uh, probably um, you'll see a similar format next month unless I have something spectacular to talk about ages for empties and favorites. But I think this format is better everything in one video and uh, since I don't film that often anymore I think that's fine <laughs> for me and uh, at least you guys have a video once in a while I hope to get better but I, I realize that it's just so much of a hustle for me to set up this room for filming I need to I mentioned it earlier I need to set the heating up already either the night before or in the morning as soon as I get up because this room is usually at five degrees and I have to bring it up to at least 15, 16 to be able to live in it and film in it for a few hours. Then filming takes a few hours and I can only do it in the weekend. And um, yeah, uh, I try to do my best. The house is coming along. Uh, as I mentioned, we're, we're in a good place. We bought the floor. We are, are found our paint and uh, we just can't wait to get our keys the wedding prep is coming along my dress is at the seamstress i'm gonna go tuesday this next week so uh, in three days i'm gonna go try it on again when it's actually um, to the shape of my body i'm so excited and um, yeah we have almost all of our spps in and uh, yeah i'm going uh, in march again in italy to find a few things and check for table arrangements flowers uh, have my hair trial which by the way have you seen how long it is i think i want to cut it after the wedding let me know what you think down below i think that is a good question to end with should i cut my hair i want a lob again i don't know um i will see you in my next video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and bye